double displacement reactions that produce a gas. If you have these, the solubility chart is unimportant. So we're not going to use it for uh, such equations. So gases produced include hydrogen, so it'll produce hydrogen gas, hydrogen sulfide, which is a poisonous gas that smells like rotten eggs, uh, sulfur dioxide, which is a reactant in forming acid rain, carbon dioxide, we know what carbon dioxide is, and ammonia. So these are five different types of gases that we can produce in double displacement reactions. Now when we produce these, a lot of times there's an additional component, right? Remember we said in double displacement reactions, two reactants form two products. But sometimes we'll see two reactants and three products. The reason for the three products is the double displacement reaction has taken place, but sometimes one of the products further breaks down. It's unstable in the way it is and will continue to decompose further. And we'll see that. And these are some of the equations that you're going to, uh, or types of reactions you're going to need to memorize. Double displacement reactions that produces hydrogen sulfide gas. Sulfides react with certain acids, such as hydrochloric acid, to produce hydrogen sulfide. So we treat hydrogen sulfide when, when putting together the formula, hydrogen sulfide. Formula is as such, H2S. We use the same methods that we use in putting together ionic compounds, and we treat it like it's ionic, even though it's not in terms of the crossover rule to put together the hydrogen with the sulfur. So we have the following. Potassium sulfide and hydrochloric acid. So we've got metal, non-metal, metal, non-metal. Non so we've got potassium combining with the chloride to give us KCl. The hydrogen combining with the sulfur to form our hydrogen sulfide. And hydrogen sulfide is in what state? Gas. Hydrogen sulfide is in gas form. Our KCl right, is aqueous. So, uh, and then for balancing, make sure that your equations are balanced as well. So make sure, look over your balancing equations, make sure you, you know how to write formulas, make sure you know how to um, do the whole crossover rules, and make sure you know, obviously, your polyatomics.